Bel Air, Texas. We've got a situation that may come up very critical right now. A man is threatening hundreds of freeway commuters with a deadly weapon. His 30-ton semi. Job stress and meth use have caused him to snap. The law enforcement officers are trying to slow this uh, maniac down in this 18-wheeler. Now the madman leads officers, including Anthony Hefferin and Joe Jenkins, on a terrifying chase. The big thing for, for me, what was going through my mind was, how are we going to get this semi-stop? Something told me, do not get in his path. Do not cut in front of him. The jacked up trucker sends a clear message. He'll keep going, no matter who's in his way. He purposely went out of his way to strike a police car, so the stakes did go up at, at that point. Unfortunately, his obstacles right now are innocent motorists. The behemoth bowls through traffic, striking countless cars. Nothing slows him down. But a construction zone could change everything. Keep your eyes on this. All the cars are closing in. He's not going to have much room to go. When you get to that point, it's just complete stand, standstill in traffic. Cops leap out and run toward the driver. Go, go, go! And as I get to probably about mid-trailer, I hear him start revving up the engine again. And that's when you go, oh no, what, what, what's going to happen now? Suddenly, the driver throws it into gear, bulldozing through cars and trucks. He's trying to push it forward, trying to push it forward. Look at this. I was floored. I couldn't believe it. I would never thought in a million years that he wasn't going to stop or that he was going to do what he did. The insane maneuver gets the trucker through the log jam, giving him a wide open road. But it also gives cops just cause to unleash their full firepower. There's other officers that are, that are lined the road that are shooting at the truck at this point. Giant slabs of rubber fall to the pavement as the big rig's tires are ripped to shreds. Soon, the lumbering giant has been brought to its knees. Officers on foot move in, firing into the engine. They fired some rounds into the uh, radiator and it came to a stop. Hands up! The road warrior is wrestled to the ground. The reign of terror finally over. His path is a wasteland of twisted metal, but fortunately not of injured civilians. You're just so happy that you stopped him or that you played a small part in stopping him. Hector Barrazzo is charged with aggravated assault on a public servant and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Considering the damage he caused and the lives he endangered, it's a decade that's well-deserved.